Hi, this is Gene from iFixSmartphone.com. Today we're gonna uh, fix the uh, backlight issue. Uh, meaning, I got this iPhone 6S. Um, it's not water damaged or anything, but it, this phone came in from another shop because they couldn't figure it out. But phone is working, but just you just don't see uh, any light. You can actually, I don't know if you can see it, but just under like if you look at the screen really closely you can see it's actually phone is on but no backlight and which is very common issue when you're uh, especially when you replace the screen without removing you know with, without having the phone part off a lot of times it, you'll blow the fuse up there but this time it's not um, so I wanted to show you this phone is actually you can hear the vibrator already so it's actually on right now and I can actually see it but it's just no light so we're gonna try to figure out what went wrong or what is wrong with the phone and we'll fix it from there okay I got the uh, board taken out, out out of the housing and got it on my workstation and I don't have the uh, tools to show you really close up but Anyway, I already already scraped the underfill. So these two are the filter that's uh, connected to the backlight anode and the cathode line. And those filters are not burnt. And you can just check from visually, I already know. But just to show you, You hear the beep that means those filters are alive and if you look at the diode on the uh, FPC pin right here the readings are all there but abnormally usually this part right here is supposed to be around the first pin on top right should be around 580 which is correctly showing and the second line should be about 450 which is the anode line and that is reading at four uh, about 290 right now so it's about a hundred below what is supposed to be and the third one is again 580 which is correct and the cathode line down here is the fourth one from the bottom right it's supposed to be 317 so it's reading at 400 which is really good so let me just show you the uh, schematic. So what we got here is the uh, 6S schematic, the J4200 FPC. And this right here, first, second, and third. And this right here, those are the backlight lines. So this pin one is good and five is good, but this one is below. The, uh, what it's supposed to be so the filter is good usually a filter is just a, you know like the transmitter of the signal or voltage so I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to follow this line to here then it goes to here's the backlight boost IC and here's the capacitor and here's a diode so one of these right line right here are not putting out the correct voltage or uh, power I guess so um, we're gonna have to open this area up and replace the either capacitor or the diode to see if that get fixed okay I got the shield removed and I already noticed the uh, blown, blown coil you can see right there on the right side the big square block that's a coil and actually that kind of like blew up so it's kind of cracked from inside exploded and it's actually cracked and and the next two diodes are actually burned up and the capacitor looks okay and usually I really don't know what causes that but usually could be because of the bad screen I think it, because most likely it's not gonna blow up by itself the coils are you know like unless there's some thing really gets fused and 
too much voltage goes in there, maybe crack up, but it'll never does that by itself a lot of times. It, and I believe if those are faulty uh, because of the bad screen. So anyway, you're gonna have to replace all that. Okay, the uh, diode and two diodes and the coil that which was blown has been all replaced and the filter seems to be good and I got the phone assembled but not quite because I still want to test and just wanted to make sure I didn't want to you know, use up the FPC so I got this little tester cable hooked up to the uh, LCD and here we go. There you go. So we got the backlight. And turns out actually there was a situation here because initially this this is a white uh the silver 6S and this is actually a replacement screen is which is an aftermarket. I don't even know which brand this is, but I don't wanna name name even though I know who they are, but this stupid damn display actually shorted out the circuit because once I got this done, I tested with this and literally I saw smoke coming out from here and it burned the uh, diode again. So I had to redo the whole thing before I do this. And I got my uh, genuine success display installed and as you can see, it's now it's working. So, uh, so that was actually the reason why this thing blew up the backlight circuit of the 6S. So sometimes you have to think about it when you're using the uh, aftermarket display. There are some uh, premium or uh, refurbished original or genuine screens out in the market that you can use. I mean, I fix smartphone us, we have a genuine market, genuine parts or uh, refurbished or refer you see a premium original parts there which is just the same thing as original stock so um, 
I highly recommend those because of the quality, picture quality and touch sensitivity is just top notch. But this aftermarket actually literally blew up the backlight circuit. So even though there was nothing wrong with the phone, just because you used the one wrong batch, it created so much uh, chaos. So anyway, um, as you can see, it was working at the light back. So I guess this is successful uh, repair and just wanted to share my two cents. And if you have any questions, you can um, send us an email at ifixsmartphone.com or you can leave a message in our, in our uh, YouTube channel in the comment below. Thank you. Thanks for watching.